Hey, and welcome back to the Cardboard Cave. We're here to do a couple more Super 7 Ultimates Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle unboxings. We got our other two turtles. You probably know what's going to happen. I'm on one of my obsessive streaks. Currently obsessing about these Super 7 Ultimates Turtles figures. I already got Leo and Mikey, along with Leatherhead and Baxter Stockman and the Mauser Pack. And the Michelangelo sewer surfing dude. So I had to get the other two regular turtles. I convinced myself I was cool just having uh, Leo and Raph. Uh, you know, they're they're I would say they're my favorites. I always picked Leo, and I would say Leo and Raph as a duo are my favorites. But I like all four turtles a lot. And it's like oh, I just it just felt wrong not having the other two because I like them. I like them pretty close to equally, honestly. So here we go, Mikey and Donnie. Let's just pop these out of the. The shipping box these come in. And I've still not paid full price, full retail price for a single one of these. Though I gotta say, I feel pretty good about, I just was patient, you know, looking on Amazon, looking on different places and got Donatello for a pretty good price. Michelangelo is the one I paid the most for so far. Still paid less than retail. But, uh, it might sound weird I'm talking about price, but hey, I'm independent. Nobody sponsors me. I have to pay for these things. I get them because I like them. So I'm going to talk about if I think they're worth the price. Michelangelo, I guess technically has to be worth a little bit more because I, I paid more for him than I have any of the other ones. I just had a hard time finding him at as nice of a discount as I've found the others for. It seems to just go in waves. Like, I realize these were released at different times, and that's part of it. Um, I think Michelangelo, honestly, I don't know if he was from an earlier wave or a later wave, but right now he just seems to be a little harder to get hold of, but not that hard. I mean, I still got him for less than the $55 retail, which as I've said many times, I think that's a lot, but obviously I like these a lot. <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't turn my nose up to that price so much, but I don't know. I'm certainly getting them through official means. I'm not going to the black market, you know. I'm getting these through official means, but it feels good to pay less than the full retail. You know, I'm not gonna lie about that. So here we go. Donatello right here. And Michelangelo over here. These, of course, are just these standard normal turtles to finish out the Fabulous Four. Got the Michelangelo box with his little smirk. We've seen enough of these now that I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the boxes. Go back and watch some of the other videos if you missed them. But I said it before and I'll say it again. Even though I'm someone who takes my figures out of the box, Super 7 has the best packaging in the business. As far as I know, anyways. I mean, this sleeve is totally unnecessary, but it's just cool. And that whole outer box is totally just extra. The shipping box. So let's see here. Start over here with Mikey. Maybe zoom back in a little bit, see how that goes. All right. So you got that same like shiny, I suppose look like water droplets on the wet sewer wall. I just love that. All these boxes have had that. Here's a blurb about Michelangelo. If you want to pause that, you can read it. Super 7 Nickelodeon. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I did pop the top seal on both these just to save a few seconds. Actually, no, I didn't even do that on the Donatello. I only did it on this one. Just to save a few seconds. I'm not open them otherwise. All right. Oh, so yeah. Obviously, the big accessory Michelangelo comes with is the pizza box, which is kind of cool because I think all the turtles have come with one slice of pizza. So it's cool he's got the box now. Alternate face has got that huge, more intense looking grin. And I think I realized these heads are, maybe they're from the slightly more modern IDW comics. Um, <clears throat> that might be the next comic series that I look into, but I've not read them. I'll be honest. I've said it before. All the Turtles video games, every single one of the beat-em-ups was kind of my life for a while, like growing up, and I still love them. And the original cartoon and the original three live-action movies. Those are kind of my turtle knowledge and my turtle love. 
So you got a cool like grappling hook here. It's got a string and these are just awesome. And there's extra. And I could tell the extra ones are like a different material. They're like rubber. Whereas these have actual little chains, which I think is awesome. Uh, on the surfer, Super Surfing Mike, I commented, I think they did it the best way they could because those were like specialized chains. Like they had seaweed and stuff all over them. But this, I do like much better. The fact they have actual chains. You can see he's got extra hands back there. The weapons, most of them seem to come with some variation of these weapons right here. They're classic. The extra head. And then the weapons rack. We'll see all that though. So Donatello here. I love the windows on the sides, as I've said on every review. Because you can see so much of the turtle, even if you do leave it in the box, if you so choose to. Here's his blurb. And Donatello, one thing that stands out is he doesn't really have a huge accessory. Though I guess that I don't think Leo or Raph did either. So Mikey actually wins out there, I guess, with the big pizza box. But he does have some communicators. Actually, Mikey didn't have any of those. A closed one and an open one. Piece of pizza, these weapons. Extra head, of course, extra fist, and a weapon rack. We'll see all that. Some throwing stars, and then there's two bow staffs, which are looking really nice. So let's just go ahead and pop this on this one and get them both out of the box. Because we want to keep this moving. If you've watched all these, then you've seen the packaging on these enough, probably if you're brave enough to have watched all these videos that I've done. So here we go, just a single seal on the top. That one left a tiny bit of smudge, but I think that's the first one that's left any smudge and it's, I don't care, it's more than fine. All right, Donatello. Zoop. And Michelangelo. Let's see here. All right, get rid of the boxes over here. And let's go ahead, take off the single piece of tape on each side that holds all these together. Every time I think that single piece of tape is not going to be a big deal, and every time I'm like, eh, I probably should have, uh, I probably should have stopped the video and started it back. <laughs> so, single piece of tape, I tell you what, it can hold on a little bit. It does not want to give up the ghost. A single like piece of scotch tape <laughs> holds up, holds way tighter than the seal does on the top of the box. Because I guess that seal was made to come off easy, so you didn't shred your box up. There we go. So inside Donatello's, all we have is his extra fists and the weapons rack, which is just the same weapons, but, you know, basic. Looks just like the old turtle weapons racks, which is cool. Um, yeah, you got the sprues on the back so, like, they can hold the, the, the stars and the weapons that have holes in them. Anyways, but let's see if we can get that off. Okay, there we go. Then we got Donnie, his bow staffs and his extra weapons, communicators. And of course, we're going to come back and show you close-ups once these are out of the boxes. Just wanted to show you the unboxing experience first. Dun, dun, dun. All right, there we go. So in Mikey's extra package, all right, <laughs> we have the extra fist and the weapons rack, but we also have two nunchucks, and this is a great inclusion. I have to say, Super Seven is good about thoughtful accessories. 
So while I don't like these as much, I think the chains are awesome. It's totally cool they gave you two of these for people who do prefer this style. And these are fairly hard plastic. Like that's not, I don't think that's meant to bend and stay bent. If you want the like classic old school weapons that are just rubber, although they look way nicer than of course the old Playmates one did. Playmate ones did. Playmates ones did. There we go. <laughs> that should not have been a tongue twister. But they're just like hard rubber. But then you also get these that are taped in, which we will show you when we do the the rest, the second part of the video. But these are chains. I think that's cool. There's Mikey. Some cheese stuck on the top of the pizza. It just says pizza on the side and the top. It would have been super cool if they did like a knockoff of the Pizza Hut box, but I totally get why they didn't even want to risk it and do go down that path. I get it. Anyways, we're going to come back with these out of the package and show you some of the posability. All right, here we go. I got Mikey and Donnie side by side. <clears throat> and just straight up, they both look exactly like you want them to. They look great. Grabbing Donnie here. Again, the shell detail is just really good on these. That bow just looks awesome. It looks like it almost has like a lacquer on it, like a finish. Like it's real, real wood that's been finished and been used. You can see the, I mean, my goodness, you can see the indentions in it where it's like he's been beating on things with it. Even the end of it, if I can get it to focus, I may not be able to. See? Excellent attention to detail. I got his turtle communicator in his hand there. I've already decided I'm not going to go on and on about their articulation on these. They're pretty much exactly what you'd expect. Um, in the interest of fairness, all four of my turtles, I feel like have slightly different tightness of the joints. Uh, like Mikey feels pretty loose, my Mikey, but I don't even know if yours would, if you got the same Mikey. My Donnie feels about right. And you know, but here's the thing. They both stand up fine. So what's it really matter? Um, to me, you know, to me, um, I just noticed that his joints feel, his, his hip joints feel slightly looser than Donnie's, but he stands up just as well. So I don't know if it's even worth mentioning and I'm not going to dwell on it. But, so there's Donnie. And he comes with just a regular piece of pizza, which does look good. The communicator in his hand, plus this closed communicator, which also does look really good. That brings back memories. Two of the bow staffs. And this does fit perfectly. Zero issues. I don't remember if he carried an extra one. I don't know they necessarily did, but I like the way it looks, so I'm going to keep it in there. I love that it comes with two. You probably could have made do with one, but I love that it comes with two. Um, of course, you can get all kinds of different poses, like, what did you say? Um, let's see. Try to give him more of a combat-ready pose here. There we go. And besides that, he just comes with the extra head here. Let me zoom back out. The extra head, two throwing stars, and then these assortment of weapons that I think maybe all the turtles came with, at least some variation of those. Plus six extra hands. As usual, two of them are just closed fists for punching. Then you got some slightly more open hands and then very open hands. And then the weapon rack. So Donnie does feel a little slim on accessories, but I think I might be spoiled by, for example, the sewer surfing Mikey, who came with an entire surfboard and a crab. You know, he just was over the top. Or or Baxter Stotman, who came with an entire Mauser, you know. There's nothing like that here with Donnie, but he comes with everything he needs to, and I love that he has two bow staffs. Um, but Mikey here, really liking the face on him. I really do like these nunchucks. And there's so many different ways you can have them hold them. But I love how they dangle. And the detail is just really good on them. Um, you know, it's totally up to you. Like, I mean, obviously I can fix his hands so they look a little different, but 
if you want to hold them straight out like that. <laughs> or just straight down. You know, it's entirely up to you. Maybe... Maybe he's getting ready to use that one like that. And on the back, he's got some shell damage. Those are actual grooves in there. Those aren't just painted on. Um, it looks like this is obviously meant to store his nunchucks, just like the Playmates figure. Um, I'm not too worried about it because I'm glad these are included. I think some people might want to use these, but I just think these look better. And I want them in his hands. And this is a tight fit. I can already tell. I do think it's what they're made for. And I think you can do it. Pro tip. Take a hair dryer if you have one. To the to this. Just enough to expand it a little bit. If you need to. It really does expand, expand plastic and rubber. Obviously don't melt your figure. Be safe. But I've done that on a couple of figures. Like just Playmates figures and stuff. Not just these. But yeah, I think these will fit in here, but I'm, I'm frankly just not going to force it because um, I like the way they look in his hands. But he does he's he does a little better on accessories, I think, than, uh, than Donnie did because he not only has the two nunchucks, but he's got the two extra nunchucks. He's got this really cool grappling hook, which just has a piece of string hook to it. I think that's just to add just for looks, just so it's hanging from it. You know, I'm sure you can make some cool scenes with this hanging from a building or something. It is cool looking. Um, and I'm sure he could hold on to it here by the fat part as well. I think the string is just for looks. Like, I don't think there's anything here for him to hold on, hold on to is what I'm saying. It's just a string. But anyways, but then he also has the pizza box, which does not close. It's very, it's actually plastic. It's not rubber. It doesn't close. It just, it looks like that. That's what it is. You could certainly put, not a whole pizza, like these are big New York style slices, but you could put, you know, two in there, maybe three if you really arranged it, not sure. But Mikey's slice is, is in there, it's tight, it's not coming out. And then he has the extra hands, of course, the weapons rack, of course. The extra head and then the standard extra weapons including the throne stars there so he's pretty much got everything donnie does except you know obviously nunchucks a set of bow staffs but then he's also got two extra nunchucks and this turtle hook and the pizza box they don't forget donnie does have two of the communicators so you know that's something anyways um yeah i just don't know what else to say and i don't have anything to complain about i mean that's the bottom line here i think they both look good i think they both look very good i think they both are exactly what i would want them to be i don't know what else i would want you know as i said except for the price to be a little oh, God. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness i'm so professional except for the price perhaps to be a little less is what i was trying to say no i'm not going to edit that out you're going to see all that um yeah, I don't, I don't know how much to complain about is what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah, the, the, the material feels great. The posability is great, even though I'm not showing you much here because they really is so similar to the other turtles. And so go back and watch those videos. I show a little more. Um, the accessories are not over the top on these, but they're what you want them to be. The weapons are great. I mean, I've gone on about Mikey's nunchucks. I love that there's real chains. But... Donnie's bow staff just looks so good. You know, it might be the secret star of the show here. It really does look good. So take a final look at the turtles here. Appreciate the detail. This has been the Cardboard Cave. Please like the video, comment, subscribe, and coming soon... I want to show you all the Super 7 Ultimates figures that I have and try to create some scenes for you. Some diorama scenes, battle scenes. I don't know. See what I can do. Just show you how they look together. Um, how they might look displayed on your shelf. But stay tuned to the Cardboard Cave for more content like this and whatever else I can come up with and bring to you.